video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larsen here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. A few weeks ago, I showed you how I made the bass sound that Zomboy loved to use in his songs. You can check it here. And today I want to show you how I like to fine tune presets in FM8 to create hundreds of different sounds, something like these. Don't forget that you can download these sounds from my Patreon, link is below. Let's jump into it. The reason I love FM8 is because it is complicated. <laughs> now, it can be a hard thing to master, but there are hundreds of ways and hundreds of possibilities you have to tweak your sound. And especially if you have a great sound, a great starting point, you just need to turn some knobs, some smart knobs, to create a very, very different sound. So this is what I did in this project that you can download from my Patreon. So this is one sound that I transformed from the Zomboy Rotten bass. And it is so cool because, you know, we have this FM matrix. Just choose a different one. And you can still have the chance, you know, to make some differences to it, like choose another waveform, just tweak the modulation between the operators or change the ratio. And you still have a very, very different sound. So this is one thing that I love to do. The next thing that I love to do is go to the envelopes and change some of the envelopes here. And this will instantly change your sound. Because, you know, for example, if I tweak the attack point, the very beginning of the sound won't be affected, won't be modulated by operator C, only a little later when it just fades in. So this is another thing I love to do, just, you know, create random shapes. And this works almost like in Serum, because the points the breakpoints that you can add here is, is endless basically. And of course you can do it in any other any other operator, just you know, just trying to make it very fast. And let's see what result we can make here. Instant goodness. If you want to learn more about FM8, click here for Let's Synthesize Academy where I teach you how to use FM8 from inside out. My other next favorite thing is the effect. So as you can see, I'm using a lot here. Let me disable the chorus, reverb, the phaser and the tube amp. <laughs> it's just very dumb. With the tube amp, we already generated some distortion that uh, creates very nice evil harmonics, I would say. It's just make it sound a little angrier and more aggressive. With the phaser you can step it forward. If you add voices with the reverb and the chorus, you can make it a little more rhythmy. So it's very, very cool. And so this is the effects. And if you go forward, we can go to the Easy Morph tab. And this is my, my very, very favorite thing. So we have the harmonic knob that basically changes all the ratios on every operator at the same time. Now we don't hear too much of a difference because the effects are very hard on this preset, but you can see how the waveform changes and how the harmonics change when we turn this knob. And the brightness basically tweaks the connection, the modulation between every operator at the same time. Okay, so this is one thing. And the timber envelope again is a very, very nice thing to tweak. Now let's go to the sixth sixth sound and let's tweak and let's play with the timber envelopes I knew this will work because you know I have lots of envelopes here that has huge uh, decay and you can tweak the attack Yeah. <laughs> 
So what this does basically is changes all the envelopes uh, parts of the same time. So for example, this changes all the envelopes attack point and the decay sustain, etc, etc. So this is again a very, very nice thing. And this is the main amplitude envelope. So don't I just basically don't really mind that. Only if I want to, for example, just make a plug sound or something. That is the only chance, that is the only time when I tweak this. But the timber envelope is a very, very nice thing to tweak. <laughs> Maybe we can keep this sound, it's a lot better than this one. The next thing that I like to add, if for example I don't have too much tops, I like to add some digital uh, quality loss basically to my sound. Again, we don't hear too much difference here because we have lots of effects here. But believe me, this will add some redux kind of effect and the analog adds some more vibrato or tremolo kind of sound to your, to your preset. Now, I always like to use unison because this fattens up the sound very, very well. But be careful with the detune and of course with the voices because you can easily turn your sound into noise. And my last favorite thing is the Morph Square, where you can basically load four different presets or four different variations of the same sound, and you can use this little square to morph between the sounds. Now, I didn't do that here, so my only job here is to click on Normalize Timbers. So now this sound is loaded to all the four squares. Now I can go to the operators and, you know, just tweak some values, for example, the ratio, change the waveform, like do this thing here and when you go back to the morph square now this sound is very dumb but you get the point there are hundreds of ways to customize your sound in fm8 so it's a very very great synth that I highly suggest you to play with.